All right, so how to turn shredded cheese into string cheese. So I could not find this video anywhere. So I decided that since I seen one video, I'm just gonna do it myself. All right, so here I'm gonna add some salt. Oh boy, I said to add like four. No, he said like two tablespoons of salt, but you know, I'm just gonna dip it in there because we ain't doing all this measuring stuff. So as you see, I'm just pouring that salt in and then we are just gonna let this water get hot. We don't want it to boil because he said that the cheese is gonna melt. And when you're trying to handle milk cheese, I'm doing a video, so honey, we gotta do this right. All right, so now I'm just filling for it, trying to see if the water's hot enough. I said it was good, so it's good. Okay. Next thing you know, I'm gonna get my cheese. I got the mozzarella and provolone cheese, the great value, honey. Ain't no wrong with great value. Hmm. Moving forward, I'm just gonna get two handfuls of cheese. Um, I'm just basically gonna grab it, put it in there. All right, so we're dropping the cheese in. And basically it's just gonna float all to the bottom and it's kind of gonna get all glumpy and gloopy and together and stuff like that. So I'm dropping the second part in now. And then we're just gonna let that sit. We're gonna let that cheese melt a little bit. And then we're gonna come back, see what it's talking about. Okay, so now I'm trying to give y'all a little close up, but you really can't see what I was trying to show you. But basically as the cheese is starting to melt, it's starting to look a little funny, so. I'm just getting my spoon right here, trying to show you guys what it looks like as it's melting. And as you can see, that cheese is melting. Oh, get off my spoon. Off. The cheese didn't want to get off my spoon, so we had a little fight for, for a little minute. But, you know, we just gonna try and tap it off. As you can see, still struggling. It's cool, it's whatever. Still struggling, it's fine. It's fine. Just struggle with your cheese, that's all you gotta do. All right, so at this point, I'm pretty much over it. So I'm like, either it's gonna be me or the cheese. Clearly it was me, cause I just took cheese with me. But anywho, that's that. Um, basically that's what your cheese is gonna do. So don't use a metal spoon because I did find it harder to get the cheese off of that metal spoon. So definitely I would use a plastic spoon. All right, so right here, I'm just basically trying to pour all of that water out. I did leave the slightest bit of water in there just so it would be a little easier for me to actually get the cheese out of the pan. So yeah, right here, that's all I'm doing. Just trying to make sure that I don't drop the cheese into the actual strainer because I feel like that's gonna be nasty child. So yeah, just get all as much water as you can out, leaving the slightest little bit so that cheese will just slide out pretty easy onto a metal or a glass plate. But uh, I really don't know who's using the metal plate. I'm using glass, so you can use glass or whatever you want to use. Just don't use plastic. All right, so in the next clip, I already got the cheese all the way out. I just used that little spoon to try and scoop the rest of it out, and it came out pretty easy. So right here, I'm just trying to, you know, pick up the cheese, trying to see how warm it is. This is why you do not want your water to boil, because you will need your hands in order to form that cheese into the shape that you want it to be. And so now I'm just stretching and flipping, stretching and flipping. Um... You can do it up to 20 to 30 times. And if you're looking for that real string cheese where you can pull it apart, then you want to do it at least like 20 to 30 times so you can get that real string cheese effect. But I'm using this cheese to make some stuffed crust pizza. So I'm not really worried about the amount of times that I'm stretching it. I'm just trying to stretch it enough so that it can fit around in my pizza. Okay, so now is the fun part where you can basically just squeeze the cheese into the shape that you want it to be. As you can see, I'm starting from one end, basically just squeezing it, squeezing it together so like I can kind of get it into like that string looking, rope looking, child, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to get. So basically I can use that part to go in my pizza and I'm just going to wrap it around put the crust over it, bake it a little bit, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show y'all the results of my pizza at the very end. Mmm. Okay, so every time I see this part, I just wonder, what the heck am I doing? I'm, like, twisting it and turning it for some reason. I guess I'm trying to be fancy or something. But it looks like it's working because it's actually extending itself. So that's what we're going to say we're doing. We're extending the cheese. That's what we're doing. All right. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm just laying it out for y'all to see. And that's my string cheese. 
After that, I just put it in some wax paper, as you can see right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And here's our pizza that me and Timothy made. We decided that we just wanted a homemade pizza, you know, this quarantine and crap, so we don't really be feeling like going nowhere. So here's our pizza. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Y'all have a good one. Bye!